Oh yeah. I think I got this one. Here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh, what yeah. is going on everybody? Down here at the river this morning. I want y'all to take a look at how full this river is. Been getting a ton of rain in Central Florida. Got the river way up. And I'm down here for one reason this morning. And that is to show you how I catch, clean, and cook garfish. It's a very simple setup that I use. Anybody can do it. You're just going to take a real small floating cork. And this one here ain't much bigger than your pinky finger. And then I like to use a size 6 beak hook made by Mustad. Size 6. Take your little small piece of cut bait. Float it by 8 to 10 inches below the water. Right there. And hang on. All right, looks like we got another garfish on the line. Give him time, let him eat. I think I'm about to try him. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. That's a long-nosed gar, y'all. Oh, listen to that drag. That's a long-nosed gar. That's one of the bigger ones. Ah, he's definitely got it eight. Oh, yeah. Oh, listen to that. I got to tighten that drag a little. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a nice long nose guard too, y'all. Holy cow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, this is what I've been after right here. This is what I've been after, and that is a nice one. Oh, oh, whoo! Yes, sir. Love the sound of that music. Oh boy, he's gonna take some time to wear out. That is a nice one right there, y'all. Get on that. Get on this bank. Woo, that is a good one right there, y'all. That's exactly what we after right there. Long nose gar, a lot of meat on that rascal. That's a good eater right there. That's how it's done, y'all. So now next thing you wanna do is take you a good, sharp, solid knife, and you wanna come right in here, just behind the head. You wanna go in underneath one of those scales right there, and you wanna just puncture. Just like that. You just made a nice puncture wound right there. And that's where these right here come in hand. It's just a regular old pair of 10 snips. So when you make that puncture wound, I like to cut a slot on each side behind the gill plates right there. Come in there and cut it down just like that. And then what you're going to do is just go along the top right here in that slot. And you're going to just cut it straight down all the way to this dorsal fin or to the tail area. So now you get your fillet knife with a nice pointy tip. And what you're gonna do is this slot, you cut all the way down the middle. You're gonna go on each side up with this fillet knife and you're gonna separate that shell from the meat. And just like that, that's what we call rolling him out. Now his backbone right here, dead center, right? So on each side of that backbone is one nice fillet all the way from the back of his head down to the tail so you just want to go in here with your fillet knife and just fillet it off each side along that backbone and look at that that's just one solid piece of boneless goodness right there people don't know what they're missing out on when they throw these guards back so what I like to do with these beautiful gar fillets, I like to just cut them up into nuggets. Something similar like catfish nuggets. Beautiful meat. It's gonna be good and tender. And take whatever fish batter you like, make your own, do the store bought, don't make no difference. And just dunk them on in there. All right, so I got the cast iron skillet. The oil's ready to go. Man, if only you could smell that right now. That 
Boy, that's good right there. Now that's just a plate full of goodness right there. Woo, I'm telling you. Look at that right there. Crispy, golden brown. Seasoned very, very well with that batter. But watch this. Just peel that right apart effortless. Pretty white meat. Very, very tender. Meaty, not flaky, but tender. And when you season it well, everything comes together. That right there, that's delicious. Hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. Smash that subscribe button if you're brand new to the channel. Until next time, guys, y'all take care, and we'll see you.